everyone and welcome back or welcome if you're new to the channel. We are doing a new video Sunday through Thursday for the entire month of October. So go ahead and subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on any of the content because there's a lot of content this month especially. Um, I love sharing kids meals ideas. I love sharing Sydney's lunch boxes on Instagram stories almost almost a weekly. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and do a separate YouTube video for you guys over here who do not have Instagram. So we are doing five days, so an entire week's worth of school lunches for my daughter. Tried to show you some different ideas than I typically show. So my daughter is six years old and she's not picky at all whatsoever. So if your child doesn't eat like this, please do not feel bad because I get that comment all the time and then I feel like sort of guilty, but it is what it is. I hope you get some inspiration and ideas from this video. Nonetheless, maybe some of your picky eaters will eat some of these things or maybe you don't have a picky eater and just need a little bit of inspo. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump into this video. For school lunch number one, we are doing a crispy chicken wrap. Think McDonald's snack wrap, except for homemade. <laughs> So I'm starting out by cooking a breaded chicken tender. These are just ones that I have in my freezer from Trader Joe's. And I went ahead and cooked this in the oven that morning. You can absolutely make them a cold chicken wrap if you want and store the chicken tender in the fridge. But I prefer doing it this way so it stays nice and crispy and warm. Sydney loves, loves hard boiled eggs, but she does not eat the yolk. So I cut up an hard boiled egg and took out the egg yolk and went ahead and sliced that up and popped that in her lunch. I also added some crunchy chickpeas and these are just the sea salt version of them and they are a nice crunchy snack that is also high in protein. Sydney's been on a huge tropical fruit kick lately and wanting to try all of the things she has not tried before so I went ahead and bought a star fruit for the first time for her to try it and slice that up. Um, it tastes kind of like a cross between an apple and a grape, if that makes sense. assembling the wrap goes I let the chicken tender cool as much as possible in between I layered the wrap on a whole grain wrap with some romaine lettuce I top I put the chicken tender on it I put that thick cut shredded cheddar cheese some sliced tomatoes and some buttermilk ranch dressing and wrap that all up cut that in half and actually two halves ended up fitting pretty snugly but well inside this bent go chill box Then for her snack, I packed one of these chocolate chip granola bars from Trader Joe's and sliced cucumbers, and I put it in this Bentgo snack container that we have, and I absolutely love it. Moving on to lunch number two, I am doing a peanut butter banana sandwich. Tried to do something a little bit different. Sydney is so over peanut butter and jelly and never wants it. I think she just had it so much when she was younger and is so over it. So I have some seeded bread from Trader Joe's. I am putting a layer on each side with peanut butter. I usually pack only a half a sandwich if I'm doing one. To be honest, she doesn't have enough time to eat. If I packed her a whole sandwich, she would pretty much only have time to maybe eat all of that and she is definitely a snacker and a grazer so she prefers multiple options so putting a little bit of peanut butter on both sides of the bread and then a sliced banana all over the center Sydney said she loved this and she didn't say anything about the bananas being brown or yucky or anything so maybe try it with your little ones. You can also put some honey on there if you want to get a little extra sweet. And obviously I should mention we are allowed to have nuts and peanut butter in our school, but if you aren't, uh, try sun butter, try granola butter. There are lots of different options. You can do Nutella as well. 
Then for her sides, I have some chive cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is so good. It's full of protein and it's creamy and Sydney loves it, but I know it's it can be a texture thing for some. Then I have these ghost and bat potato chips from Trader Joe's and more cucumbers. This is Sydney's favorite little snacking vegetable. So you'll see cucumbers probably a few times in this video. As far as the snack goes, I have these once upon a time dairy-free smoothie pouch and then a pumpkin cereal granola bar. Moving on to lunch number three, I am giving her some leftovers. I made this creamy chicken taco soup in my last crock pot meals video. So for the recipe, go ahead and check that video out. Sydney absolutely loved it and wanted it for school the next day. So in her little bento snack box, I am having some red bell peppers as well as tortilla chips and the tortilla chips were meant for crumbling over her soup that's how I like to serve it or you know just eating them how they are but kind of a little of a Mexican theme I always heat up her thermos ahead of time with really really hot water and I put the lid on and let that kind of steep and just warm up and of course when I am heating up the leftovers in the microwave I let them almost boil I get them as hot as possible and that way her lunch is still sort of warm <laughs> when she has lunch she's never complained and said it was cold before so hopefully this method works out Then for snacks, Sydney had her beloved chocolate chip Z-Bar granola bars and a Macintosh apple. Moving on to lunch number four. Again, this recipe is in my last video if you guys want it, but we are doing a butternut squash mac and cheese leftovers for lunch. Starting out in her Bento snack box, I sliced up some mango. It's Sydney's favorite, favorite fruit. In the other section, I added some baby carrots and then I have a little container of buttermilk ranch on the side for dipping her carrots into. I think I need to invest in little like dressing containers that will fit in these Bentgo boxes because yeah, the containers that I have are just not really functional in her lunchbox. They're kind of too big, but I made it work nonetheless. And Sydney's been asking for warm lunches a lot more as the weather cools off here. So I've been actually enjoying Enjoying giving her some leftovers and figuring out what to make her so I did make some butternut squash mac and cheese like I said and you can check out that recipe in the last video um, it's just mac and cheese made with a little bit of butternut squash in there it gives a little extra you know nutritional value uh, some hidden veggies and it gives like that nice fall flavors because I added some nutmeg as well made that piping piping hot um, and put that in her little thermos I do love this thermos and it comes in so many different themes so if your little one is into a certain character or color I'm sure there is an option and we do love it Sydney cannot open it herself as of now she's getting so so close to be able to do this she still needs a little help but uh, she doesn't mind asking the teachers and hopefully the teachers don't mind actually as of today i did purchase one of the ami boxes and hopefully sydney can open that i've heard mixed reviews and so we will see and for her snack today it was a bobo's strawberry stuffed oat bite these are delicious and nice and filling and also an apple banana applesauce just for extra measure i like to pack her two snacks even though a lot of times she only has time to eat one i just i never want her to be hungry Lunch number five is another warm option. I made chicken quesadillas the night before. So I have some tortillas, of course, shredded cheese, some uh, red bell peppers, tomatoes. I used everything but the elote seasoning from Trader Joe's and shredded rotisserie chicken. Again, I made these the night before and popped them in the fridge and then I heated them up in a skillet the next morning. you 
you guys tried the viral date peanut butter Snickers snack? Well, I tried these for the first time the other day and they were pretty good. So I packed Sydney one in her bent goat snack box. I stuffed this date with some peanut butter and you can add chocolate chips in there as well if you want to make it a little extra sweet treat for them. I think it's always nice to give them like a little treat here and there. And of course, Sydney has some after school sometimes. Um, and then of course her cucumbers because she's always requesting them and then I have these little silicone cupcake holders or molds and I put some Annie's cheddar bunnies in there and that is her lunch I in hindsight would not have heated her quesadilla up with oil I think it made it a little greasy but I wanted to make it sort of crispy and really warm so I just laid these out on a paper towel and kind of soaked up the extra oil um, in her thermos in order to try to keep them from going too soggy I put in a paper towel and that seems to absorb some extra moisture and keep them from going too soggy. And so I did slice her quesadillas up pretty thin and shoved as many as I could in her thermos. And as far as a snack goes, she's having an apple cider muffin that I made. We'll be sharing the recipe shortly here and a plum. <music> Alright you guys, that is the five days worth of school lunches for my six-year-old. I hope you guys got some inspiration, ideas. Uh, let me know if you have a staple lunch idea for your little one in the comments down below because I'm always needing the inspiration as well. There are some mornings where I'm just like, what on earth am I going to pack you? But I also love it.